Let's find out which populations in NATO would be willing to defend other NATO countries if they were attacked by Russia. I never even considered this, to be honest. So start off with the Germans. I guess the German people would be a little bit more unwilling to defend Ukraine, Romania, and Turkey. And then, oh, look, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, ooh, they're mad about something. Countries the French would and would not be willing. So obviously the green countries, they would be willing. But same thing, the French are less willing to defend Turkey, Romania, and Ukraine. Why is that? We shouldn't be giving anyone any ideas now that I think about it. Nobody show him this video. Countries the British would be willing and not willing to defend. So they're mostly willing to go after and defend everyone, except they're split with Turkey. They're not sure how they feel about Turkey. Why Turkey? And then finally, Americans. Bam. Man, just no, they're just they're just going in. They're they're just ready. They they're they're ready to fight. I guess maybe that's the that's the key uh, thing we should get out of this. Maps without the Netherlands. That's a thing? Is that a real thing? Wow, I, I feel terrible. I didn't even notice that. I'm sorry, Dutch people. Actually, why is that? What is up with that? Oh, it's not even a real community. I really wanted that subreddit, Maps Without the Netherlands, just to see how many is on here. Here's another poll in terms of all the NATO countries. So if the Netherlands existed, NATO would defend you guys. So that's that's a good sign. That's nice. Very few people, the fewest actually, are saying they should not defend the US, 29%. 60% are saying they should. Canada's doing good, the UK, Lithuania, France, but when it gets all the way down here, ooh, Bulgaria. Why not? Why no, Why not Bulgaria? Oh, Italy? What? Y'all not gonna defend it Italy? Greece, and then Turkey's actually the fourth lowest. I don't know exactly who they were polling for this. It doesn't tell me. Yeah, a good point. Ukraine isn't even in NATO, so that's that's a confusing aspect. I have no idea why they were included, but uh, okay. If Indian states were renamed after countries with similar population, I knew this was gonna blow my mind because they're just fitting so many places in here. Japan, Italy, Germany, the UK. I mean, these are huge populations, at least right here in Europe. France is down here, Japan, some African co countries up in the north. It is interesting to see like, this is in terms of population density too, right? So there's it's less dense over this way. Iceland, oh, Iceland on these islands. A lot of people here. Obviously, a lot of people. You know, that is a really good point. How do we know exactly this is just about populations and stuff? Should we be worried? Should Raj be worried again? I always forget this fact, and uh, it is crazy because they were just jammed up in there. It's a really big deal. Turns out you can just about squeeze the UK into Canada's Hudson Bay. And you know what? Why not? Why don't we just take the UK and push it somewhere else? Isn't that the plan, though? Isn't that what you guys are doing? This map I found while cleaning up. That is the most disturbing map. I don't know how I feel about this. It's really... Oh. Oh no. I don't want to think of it like as a cylinder. Are there cylinder earthers out there? Can we start that? Day six of social distancing. I have drawn an entire city. <laughs> Please somebody give this person city skylines. Just let him play that. He doesn't need to draw. This man legit has like a key and everything. So there's like intersections and roads and offices. Okay. Oh man. That's seriously like that's what we've come to. Bam. There we go. We have the same idea. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I've never thought what you're supposed to call people from every state. Californians, I get that. Or Oregonians, Oregonians, Washingtonians, Washingtonians, Washingtonian, Idahoan, Nevadan, Utahan. So a lot of these are just slapping ends, except for Wisconsinite, Alabamian. Yeah, that's me. I shouldn't be saying that out loud. I'm glad not everyone switches it up like Indiana here. Like imagine if everyone had their own little unique nickname, Hoosiers. Michiganders, uh, Michiganders. Take a Michigander out there. That was stupid. Wyomingite. I don't know why I'm thinking of like Dragonite. New Hampshire. Eat shy, shy or a. Why don't we just call them organs? I think organs is much better. I was literally looking for this exact thing recently on Amazon. Like I wanted to do like a blindfold challenge with an extreme relief globe and just to see like if I could feel around and see what everything is. Where do you get these things? Four grand? Oh hell, never mind. Never mind. This is ridiculous. Although that's a great video title. I spent four thousand dollars on a globe. I think that would make Mr. Beast jealous. Good point. Yeah, pretty much anytime you can feel uh, anything on a globe, it's super extreme because that that's not real. Historic versus present geographical distribution of lions. Oh, yeah, lion, tiger, lion king. <laughs> what's that, what's it called? I think they claimed there's only 4,000 lions left in the wild. So what, we got like two here, three here, maybe 12, yeah, I don't know. That's like half a lion. I don't know how he's surviving. Oh, was it 4,000 tigers? Might've been tigers. Crazy how far they were going though back in the day. Imagine just chilling in Bulgaria while it's like snowing and all of a sudden a lion shows up and we've learned that NATO won't defend you. So you guys better hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> I'll defend you from the lion, Bulgaria. Number of billionaires in Europe by country. So there's a lot in Sweden. Why is there so much in Sweden? Sweden and Norway. I could have swore it was going to be 
all in Germany. Oh, oh, but the map is by like per 10 million people. And this is as of 2018. So there's 123 in Germany, which is more than Sweden, but it's like per capita or whatever. It was just one billionaire in Iceland. He's just chilling there. One in Portugal, none over this way. Okay, I'll go ahead and offer myself up, you know, just some, everyone give me money, billionaire. I'll go move to Lithuania. I gotta do it. I'm doing it for you guys. I'll just be lobbying to bring back the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. How big I thought the Wadden Sea was less than an hour ago. How big it actually is. I've never heard of the sea in my life. Is that inland? It's an almost entirely inland sea, isn't it? That is incredible. That is actually really interesting. Oh, this guy was a Dane and he didn't even know it extended so far south. I was putting myself in like the Dutch shoes. I had no idea it came up that way. Oh, oh well, he, he said the exact same. I should just read that. Even Australians didn't know about it. I thought, I thought they knew everything. It's part of the ocean, which is not too deep. During low tide, you could walk on it as all the water is gone. Whoa, whoa, that's pretty different. That, okay, is that happening every day? That just looks like fun. I, I really want to go out there now. Lego map, first Lego Star Wars, now this. Are you guys trying to get me to lose my mind? These people have to be from Denmark. They gotta be. I love like the old school carpet. I remember having one of those like old city carpets. It's pretty massive Baltic Sea, just realizing that. It even fit in Luxembourg. And some of the time, oh, I love they pick like the city state guys. It even threw those things in there. I swear, like me and this subreddit is sometimes just on the same exact level. An old Dutch map from the world in 1700. I love these old maps. Like I, like when we went to the map museum, uh, this is exactly the type of stuff I saw. It's really cool to see like every year and the different countries that were making progress on like what the globe was looking like. Germany intercity rail. I have a much bigger appreciation for like transit and this stuff, especially when it's all beautiful. Look how efficient this is. But why is it not going over here to East Germany? Come on. It's just really coming all over here. A great loop, a year long North American boating tour. Whoa, I didn't even know you can move through Florida. How is this possible? When did you guys do this? Florida, you guys not telling us something? I mean, I know you're not telling us a lot of things, but okay. And then all the way up through here. Dang, that's crazy. I'm assuming it probably takes you a year because like can't have like a giant boat. But if you did it through a speedboat, now that's a challenge. Great loop, adventurous speed run. I'm down for that. What would be the best boat to do this in? Probably a motorized one. Old map of Denmark we got from my grandma. Man, grandma's always just pulling out the weirdest stuff. I need to go jack my grandma. I know she got some stuff. Give me this shit, Nana. Yeah, I learned this the hard way. I learned this a long time. I sometimes I still make this mistake, but I just sometimes call them like all Persians and you are not supposed to do that. I'm just like, oh, you know, like the Persians are out. Nope. I don't do that. Slope map of the United States. Brighter the color, the steeper the terrain gets. And uh, I think we've seen this many times, but because it's represented in this like blood red, it makes me like it more. It looks like a body part, like a heart or something. Ooh, city and port of Havana, circa 1777. Ooh, this thing's looking good. Y'all had it going together. I want to go there. Probably don't want to go there. This is like the type of random stuff I really love. Evolution of the railway system in Romania between 1815 to 2013. They really, oh, it looks like veins coming through there. They started getting like the big ones in the 1870s then bam they fully well the country is losing borders this is complicated because the country changed its look a lot airports of europe and these uh the big like deeper red ones is the 50 million passenger ones netherlands have one frankfurt and germany obviously london heathrow madrid barcelona there's a lot of tiny ones though that's like the surprising like you, you never see the tiny ones they never talk about that i flew to helsinki and then stockholm that was a fun little adventure nice little plane ride i forgot about this i think i learned about this once this is the Republic of Texas and the United States circa 1841. This is because it was still part of Mexico, right? And Mexico had it designed to come like all the way up here. Imagine if Mexico, uh, Texas still had that. Imagine if Mexico still had Texas. That's also a pretty <laughs> interesting thought. Cut out of London's what? Tube station? Tube station? This ain't real, right? Obviously, I don't think it, I don't think it is. But then again, I just learned about the Channel Tunnel like not that long ago. I, I, I didn't know it went to UK and France. Well, I guess it must have been built. I guess it is real. I knew they've been keeping secrets. They've had secret tunnels all along. I should have known. I really want to actually go to some of these. There's 10 of them. Uh, I don't know if I want to go to this one though. I'm not down. Oh, this is actually really cool. Now these are like abandoned tunnels though. Oh, I, okay. You know, I would be down actually. This looks really fun. I don't want anyone to fall. Just let me get lost in there. If I can't make it out, that's, that's my fault. Cairo at night. Hey Squidward, I'm singing at night. I'm washing the floors at night. Oh yeah, beautiful Italy. This is another one of those relief. That actually looks like it would hurt. Is that like spikes? You definitely get a splinter if you touch that. Now that's the relief map I want. I want you to like be able to touch different parts of the globe and then if you touch the wrong area you get stung with the stinger. I don't know. Indigenous place names in Quebec and I am not even going to begin to try to pronounce any one of those. Well, I guess I can try like Cree and East Cree. There we go. I did two. Watercolor Gambia for no particular reason with some of its symbols. Look at that. This man clearly is on like day 50 of quarantine. 
I really like how people are just like drawing maps now. Like that is just the new thing. Look how detailed this and he colored it and stuff like that. I I oh, I still get like your guys' submissions for drawing maps. I feel like you guys are just like dabbing on me because you know mine sucked. But there's some more. Oh, he did more. Jeez. Oh, imagine a puzzle game where you gotta put the earth together. That okay. I again I need to buy some stuff. You're making me want to buy some stuff right now, and that's I don't need to do that. Average first leaf appearance in uh in the US. So you get oh first leaf I see because of winter. I was like really confused. I'm from California, so you know. <laughs> You know, what are leaves? I love these new graphs. Anxiety level, honey, we need to sleep. Whew, think, oh man. I was on the verge of a mental breakdown already. Daughter sentences, dad, how do you make bread? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that's getting me right now. And there you go. Pie chart of how much fresh bread I have remaining. Good enough. Just that's that's great. This is such a good chart. I love this. Worst episode, the most commonly rated shows on IMDb and their lowest rated episode. Game of Thrones, bam. There you go. Man, just to end it on that note, Walking Dead, Swear, Breaking Bad, Fly. Fly's a good episode. That's a bottle episode. They didn't want to spend much budget. I like that episode. Oh, How I Met Your Mother ended like the same way too. Just right on last note. And Dexter. Man, there's, there's such a common theme. Like, there's a lot of last episodes that just sucked, I guess. Look at House of Cards. Bam! The whole season just tanked. Timeline of average color of frames of 2020 Academy Award contenders. My cinematographers are gonna love this. And look at that. There's a very clear, like, there's something going on here. There's definitely a nice little, if you're trying to make a movie, color it like this. It's just like a neutral, dull, desaturated brown, gray. I'm not good with colors. Joker's like green. Here's the exact same graph, except with Harry Potter movies. And Harry Potter movies, clearly, you could tell there was a tonal shift after the first two. I think everyone in, in the world knew that, though. It literally gets darker with every movie, like, just from the frames itself. A lot of, like, bright blues and greens. And at the very end, this is just all darkness. <laughs> Someone posted this to my subreddit. I don't know if this is, like, originally made by him, but Botswana, Zambia, Namibia coming up to Zambia. Bam! Oh! Get it. Yeah, you get you stop looking at Angola like that. But isn't at the same time Namibia kind of like spreading? Country spreading? It's not right. Ah, uh, Denmark. Denmark. At least, you know, it was a good attempt. Good good attempt. Oh, dang. I didn't even know I could have used this screenshot right here. I got Brazilian Dutch. I just made a video about this earlier this week and uh, I was trying to get as many different. This is like the most variety. I didn't have to like try to change my face at all. Oh, they found me in math. Boy, they found me on this poster. Dang it. All right. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to the Patreon supporters. Drew's Uncle Hiltar. Oh, C, Elijah Senpai, Swiss Argo, Luxembourg Lover, Maxi G, Pito, Alfonso M6, Militon, Pan Kualaska, Palofsky, Sleeper 56, Vinny Chang, Tyler Beach, Ballin' Like Stall, Seth A, Mayonnaise Incorporated, Riley A, Public Education. Thanks again.